Hey everybody, Joe Baker here with the Edit Bay, and today I'm going to be sharing a quick tip for speeding up your post audio workflow. Audio is half of your production, and in the case of online tutorials, it's probably more important than anything that's going on on screen. So when you send your um, audio mix to an audio editor, such as Adobe Audition, you can really speed things up by assigning a hotkey or adding a certain list of uh, processes to your favorites over here. Now, most of these ship with the software, um, but you'll notice that right here, Joe's voiceover tutorials, I've actually recorded a set of instructions, just like you would record a set of actions in Photoshop that I can quickly apply to my voiceover. And all of these processes are tailored to me. Okay, so if I just go up here to favorites and I say Joe's voiceover tutorials, it'll go ahead and process this and add a list of effects to this clip. So let me show you how this works. This is a fresh audio clip straight out of my screen capture software. I haven't done anything to it yet. Before I do any of my edits, I'm going to come up here to favorites, start recording favorite. Now, I'm not going to get too much into how I process my audio. Again, this is kind of tailored to me, and I do have some presets within my various effects here. So I'm just going to add a couple of effects. Started with compression. Now I'm going to move on to some EQ which usually makes things a little bit loud. So I'm gonna come over to compression, amplify, and give this a three decibel cut. Now, if I came up here to favorites and I hit stop recording favorite at this point, it actually wouldn't record anything because all of the effects over here need to be applied. So I'm gonna hit apply. Now, if I come up to favorite, stop recording favorite, just give it a name, click okay, and that favorite will be over here on my list. I hope you found this tip useful. If you'd like to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate your support. See you next time.